All right, Kyle, let's take a look at your paper. I'm going to format first. This looks good. You got a space up here. You need to move up everything up. Um, weak title. You have actually too much space here, too. Um, weak title. It doesn't really, it's just your topic of your paper, and that's nothing else. All right, so you start off with some questions, which I think are not bad questions to start off with, but you can't dive right into the character without introducing the play first. So maybe make it more at the beginning, make it more about you know general. What can drive people to ruin? Um, can greed, desire for power, you know, something like that, and that make it then be specific with Macbeth in Shakespeare's play, William Shakespeare's play Macbeth. Macbeth um, is destroyed because he. Uh, might have suffered from an, a mental illness and then jump into this. Uh, so kind of set that up a little bit better. So you talk about his symptoms that he has and this is a, a an interesting concept, the idea that he couldn't control everybody in his world. Um, I actually think that would make a really good thesis statement because then the concept of control can be brought up in every single body paragraph, uh, and I and I think that's a really good thing with OCD. People, it's because people can't control things that they have OCD. So, I would um, I would actually include that as your thesis. So maybe take a look at maybe doing that in the future. Uh, and I I think this is a weak thesis statement at the end. Um, be careful. I see a couple examples of this. You have like two spaces here when you don't need two spaces. You have you know space here. You, or you don't have a space here when you need it. You have two spaces here, um, so on and so forth. So you're going to want to fix that. Make sure your spacing is all the same. All right. So I'm not exactly. So this is about control. Um, so his desire to be in control pushes him to terrible acts, uh, for anyone that stood in his way. So it's not a bad topic sentence here. This is what I don't agree with. Um, he was told they would never achieve that goal. Uh, didn't the witches tell him that he would be king? Uh, so I'm not sure why you put that in there because uh, it's not true. Uh, so you talk about how he wanted to be in control, yet he could not control the figments of his imagination, which you don't expand on. So I'm not sure why that deals with wanting to be in control at all times. Um, had such a want to control everything. So he listened to his wife after he tries to talk himself out of killing Duncan. I think you want to explain that a little bit more. Uh, and again, if this is about his desire to have control over everything, is this the best example um, that you're giving here? So one, ask yourself that. Capitalize Lady Macbeth. You need a, a comma and a space here. You need a space here that we talked about. You need a space here. You have too many spaces here. Um, you use this is good outside source. I, I would use this towards the beginning of the of the paragraph, so that we can get a good sense of it. When you have a, a period here, um, you, I'm sorry, you don't need a period here because your period's going to go outside here. Um, and then what I would do, Kyle, is after I this is the one that sticks out to me that um, the obsessions lead to disturbing and distracting thoughts. So. If that's what you're going to talk about in this paragraph, talk about some disturbing and distracting thoughts he has in here. But otherwise, you're talking about how he wants to be in control of whatever he's doing. Uh, he has thoughts and images of being the king and how he's going to kill Duncan in the beginning of the play to become king. But how does that relate to being in control? To me, that's just negative thoughts he's having, not a control issue. Uh, he swoops to an all-time two all-time lows trying to get what he wants and it hurts him in the long run again because your thesis is weak you, that's all you're talking about is that it hurts him in the long run or hurts him eventually or destroys him eventually so you're going to want to work on that all right so if this paragraph really is about his desire to be in control i would think if i were somebody doing this paper i would think the one that sticks out to me the most is once he becomes king he wants to be in control by having, and there's the word that we talked about in class for Act 3, he wants to have these perfect murders. Everything has to be perfect. And so I would focus on that as, a, as an example. Otherwise, I really don't feel like your examples are great examples of him wanting to be in control. 
of everything because this is his wife wanting him to be in control um, and you know of being king I don't know how that is wanting him to be in control of the situation because his wife it's his wife who set up the murder of Duncan so how is that him being in control I don't know so I would work on that uh, work on better examples for that paragraph make sure you have a strong transition statement into the next paragraph um, use a transitional phrase is another symptom shown by Macbeth um, but try to phrase it in the last paragraph as well all right so in the last paragraph when I talked about him wanting to kill Banquo and how that's trying to keep him in control um, which leads directly to this concept which is about perfection um, and I talked about you know the whole perfect murder thing in the past obviously this is where you're tying it in um, this paragraph I can already tell you rambles a little bit too much okay I think you need to streamline this a little bit better I like that you have a nice long paragraph it's a huge paragraph only almost a page long but um, I think you're rambling a little bit so he hires these murderers to kill Banquo instead of doing it himself uh, which is actually one of his downfalls it'd be nice if you could tie in you know he wants to be in control but then he turns around and does something stupid like having someone else do it instead of himself which sort of is the unraveling of him of his kingship at this point all right so you have Macbeth twice here for some reason um, so as you go throughout this paragraph now you're going to talk about how he wants a perfect murder there's way too much plot in here and this is way too long of a quote you do not need the quote to be this long okay um, so go back through and figure out how you can cut down this quote to what you really actually truly need here's the other thing and for MLA format when you have a quote that goes on to the fourth line you need to separate that quote by moving it down to the next line and tabbing it over twice and then all the lines are tabbed over twice again this is not you're not gonna have a quote this long in your rewrite if you choose to rewrite uh, because you just you just can't have one that 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 long you then go on to talk about um, and that's a great way to tie this into, into actually having it your whole th paper is about this you don't have to bring it up um, he ensures deeply that it must be perfect so Macbeth does not fall go back this is you're trying to tie in the symptom now to what it actually means for his downfall and for his life but you're not quite getting there still need a strong topics or a transition statement as well to go from your paragraph here to your paragraph here but again go back through um, make this you know uh, stick out a little bit more as far as explaining it, expanding on it um, you got space issue here uh, run on sentence here just uh, just clean this up um, and go back through and figure out how you can streamline this paragraph just a little bit more alright so this paragraph uh, has to do with causing harm to others um, as you go through this uh, I think you have some good examples but again I don't know how this here the idea that him trying to back out of it how is that causing harm to others it's more about him not wanting to do it um, because you just got done saying that he's selfish in his acts but this isn't selfishness this is just Lady Macbeth prodding him into doing it um, Banquo isn't capitalized uh, he didn't wanna this is not a sentence or not a word so I'll fix that um, he didn't intend to hurt anyone in this process. I, I'm a, are you meaning before he kills Duncan? Um, I'm not sure what you mean because he definitely hurts people in the end on purpose, which would fit into your category so or your symptoms. So I think I would want to add that. Um, Banco was the number one person standing in his way considering he is king at the time. I, you don't, I don't know who the he's referring to, Banquo or, or Macbeth, because you don't have Macbeth in here at all. So rework that that's a um, dangling modifier we don't we don't know who it's referring to uh, many people have urges to hurt people this would be a good place for uh, people with OCD um, you would not capitalize the P so it sounds like it's one complete sentence um, as a sorts shows people with OCD and then you put like quote suffer from uh, obsessions in this category I don't know that are violent in nature you just gotta rework this so it makes sense your period goes on the other side and then you need a space right here um, so fix up this paragraph so it actually um, the, the examples fit with the symptom um, overall your 
conclusion I can already tell you is way too long. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about how to streamline that a little bit better. All right, so as we look at your conclusion, first thing you need to have is a repeat of your thesis statement, which once you write a better thesis statement, that will go first. The next thing you do is you summarize all your body paragraphs. Um, instead of doing that, I'm not sure if you even realize it. Okay, this is how long your sentence is, the, your, your next sentence. Um, so this is your third sentence of this paragraph. This is literally the most run-on sentence I've seen so far. Um, it, there must be at least five sentences in this one sentence. Uh, you need to go back and break this up. It's just this rambling sentence that doesn't make any sense. You're going to want to go back and do that. But the whole rest of this um, paragraph should be just you summarizing your main points. First symptom, this, and explain it. Second symptom was this, and explain it. Third symptom was this, and explain it. I don't need all this background plot. I don't no need to know about OCD again. Um, you have what is no, this is a fragment sentence. Um, the witches continue to tell him things and making him think. I mean, that sentence doesn't make sense. Read these sentences out loud or have someone read them to you, Cal, because I think you'll realize how they don't make sense. Macduff is spelled wrong. Um, Macbeth's head to the top of the stairs and enjoys his victory with Malcolm. I mean, this is, I mean, he carries, this is just plot. It's not a clincher at all. This whole paragraph is supposed to be just wrapping things up. Work cited page is incorrect. Um, this is okay, but this is wrong. Um, I'm not sure. This, so Smith and Siegel should be the author, so it should be, you know, Smith, uh, comma, Melinda, and whatever. Um, but this entry is wrong. Plus you had a source, this source, which isn't stated in your paper. Um, and you have Promises Treatment Center, which is this, I guess. Uh, but that's not how you do the in-text citation for it. So you, you got to go back through and make sure this works cited page is correct. All right, Kyle, a couple things you need to do to fix it to make it better in the future. So hopefully we see a good rewrite out of you.